Hey guys, Dan here, and I'm gonna show you how to restring your weed eater line in a steel, and it's also gonna be good for Echo, Husqvarna, Red Max, anything that has your two head, your two line heads like this, okay? So you got one and two, all right? So super simple, it's really easy to do, and don't let it frustrate you. You just have to kind of get a little used to it, and I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks on how I hold it, and I can get it done super fast. All right, so uh, just, Figure out how you got to take your cap off, depending on your brand. With the steel, you just kind of take your thumb and push in, and then take your thumb and push in. And it's got two locks on each side, one on each side. That's really it. Take your empty cartridge or your cartridge that might have a little bit of line left on it and get rid of the line that's on it. You no, no longer need that line. Uh, just throw it out. For today's video, we're going to be using the steel 80 thousandths line. Um, but actually, this isn't the line that I use. I just, I got this for free when I got my weed eater. Uh, I actually used the three pounds of 80 thousandths lines, a three pound roll. Um, and I linked to it in my video descriptions and I'll link to it in the comment section. Uh, it's the best line I've ever used and it's 80 thousandths. So it's really a good line. Uh, slices right through grass and weeds like a razor blade. But what you want to do is take off two, three arm lengths, two, three, cut it. And then one, two, three, cut it. So you're going to have two lengths, three arm lengths. So a total of six. So you could do six and then cut it and then put them together, find the middle, cut it. So you have two um, arm lengths, approximately about 18 feet each, I guess. Uh, so go ahead and do that. Two, three arm lengths, cut it of line. On your cartridge, on just about all cartridges, it's going to have an arrow showing the, the rotation of the line. This isn't the rotation of the cartridge per se. This is showing you how to restring it. What that arrow in that line represents is the rotation of your line when you're restringing it. And then that little hook lines up with the little holes that are inside the cartridge that you're going to put your line to. So take one of those three arm lengths of line and stick it in that hole and hook it. Okay, just like that. Hook it. So you put it in, you hook it back, and then you follow the rotation of the arrow. And that's how you do it. And the first thing you want to do is the bottom one. And I'll show you why in just a moment. But just string it up nice and firm. Don't go tight. Don't go loose. You want it nice and firm so it doesn't make a bird's nest on you. And then you're going to stick it in that right there. Then you're going to hold it with your finger. And you're not going to let it go. Now take your second three arm length and stick it in. So you got the hook right here. There's your hook. And there's your line up right there where the hook is. Stick it in and pull it back and go with the arrow. So this is how you do a double line cartridge. If you had a single line cartridge, you'd be done. You wouldn't have to do the other one. Now it's gonna bird's nest on you and stuff like that. Have patience. Sometimes it just happens, just kind of undo it. No biggie. Keep wrapping, wrapping, and wrapping. So this is for the steel, but this will also work with Echo, Redmark, Redmax, Husqvarna, numerous different brands, okay? Now hold it with your hand. You got it wrapped up and you got it stuck in those little factory little notches that are right there to hold the line. Just hold it. Okay. Now get your weed eater back. There's a spring in here. You're going to push this on. So you got your hole right here and your hole right here. So put your finger and your thumb close to those two holes. Push it on and lock the head down. See it, it locked down. Okay. You don't want it loose. You want to push it down and spin it and it'll lock, it'll hold, okay? Then you take your line and very carefully pop it out, keep positive control of it and stick it into the factory hole right there. Hold it, don't let it go. Same thing on the other side. Take it, hold it, don't let it go. Folks, you're almost done. All you gotta do now is put the cap on. The cap is actually just the opposite of taking it off. You're just gonna push it right on, okay? Once you do that, 
Now you see the bump stop or the bump, bump and go? Watch. Now you pull it. Remember we locked it down. Remember we pushed it in, spun it, and it locked down? Now watch. There you go. Now it's ready to go. If your tails are a little bit too long, go ahead and cut off a little bit of extra, and you are down the road, ready to trim. It's that simple. Just gotta kind of hold the line and don't let it get away from you. Don't let it bird's nest on you. All right, so anyways, this is Dan. I hope I helped you out, and uh, I'll see you guys on.